Welcome to Utah's Fly Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a midge pattern, or as they say across the pond, buzzer. This is uh, Pat Dorsey's top secret midge. I'm going to do everything exactly like Pat, except for I'm not going to use the same color body thread he uses. Um, you use the same wing material. Um, I'm not going to use the same dubbing. Um, but I'm going to tie it big so you can get the gist of what's going on. But these flies are super effective droppers. Um, this is pretty much one of my number one go to uh, midge droppers um, when I'm fishing for midge and trout. Uh, I tie them in sizes uh, 24, 26. Uh, 24 seems to be really effective. 26 uh, is also effective. You can go bigger with them if you're fishing still water. Um, but you want to go nice and small with them. Uh, tiny uh, when you're fishing uh, when you're fishing the moving water. The rivers and the streams and so forth. So I like to tie them on a dry fly hook. The dry fly hook I'm using here is a Dodge uh, 1170 or 1100. Um, it's a nice uh, light wire hook. Uh, it helps keep them. I can get them to sit in the film um, as well, uh, which is also a great spot to fish them. You can fish them low, um, but here we go. We're gonna tie it. I'm using uh, Ubra thread. Uh, I can't really get this stuff anymore. It's good Rob stopped making it. Uh, it's good Rob 80 in a uh, dark rusty brown. It's a uh, good color. It produces well for me. Tied with the miracle here. Um, but I'm gonna start my thread on. And right back over. Right back again. That's gonna be our mark where we're gonna put our wing in. The rest is gonna be uh, pupa body. Now for the rib on it um, Dorsey uh, recommends a uh, white uh, six aught uni um, six aught works great um, the white um, fabulous um, but there's only one flaw with with it is that the the rib disappears when it's wet so what I like to use instead is uh, gray helps the rib uh, stay there when it gets wet. It will disappear somewhat, but it helps stay. The original pattern calls for a uni camel thread body and a white rib. Wrap them back. Back to about the barb. And bring them back up. Now remember, you're tying a midge here. So, midges are very small. Uh, except for this one I'm tying, of course. It's a monster. Now with the uni thread, you got to twist it or else it'll flatten out on you. And that's not what you want. I'll just twist it up. And it'll go rope on you. And once you got it going rope, Gotta keep it twisted. And just bring them up. I like to wrap them right around my tying thread and tie them off. The thread ain't going nowhere. See, so, you now we got a nice segmented body made out of simple thread, simple thread midge body. Now we're going to use the wing. Now the wing material, um, you'll see some recipes call for floor fiber. Um, floor fiber works just fine. Um, if you ask me, this stuff's rather expensive. Um, if uh, you go to uh, Dorsey's shop, which is also Jim Cannon's shop, uh, the Blue Quill Angler, they do sell the winging material for the pattern. This is it, top secret wing material. Um, this is the stuff here. It comes uh, in, in a couple different strands. Uh, there's several strands all 
all uh, wound together. It basically comes like this. Um, you can uh, take it, the best part about this is you can take it apart into these individual strands and one strand right here, that that's perfect amount for tying a size 24 or 26. Um, you know, if it was this big hack and clump, it would be way too much. But for a fly this size, uh, we're going to end up using two. Now, I'd also like to point out here that um, you can, uh, if you can find it, you can use this stuff as well. It's pretty much the exact same stuff as the top, top secret wing, but it's got a little more flash to it. Um, and it's uh, creaking or cracking, however you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Um, very fine braid, metallic. Uh, this works well also. It's good stuff. Um, but I'm going to go with the original material. And for a size 16, I'm actually going to go with 3. Still going to have a very sparse wing on it. Uh, trim them, even them up. Catch them on, pull them back, tighten them up, and tie them down. Should tie it in nice and secure. Pull on them, make sure they're secure. Wrap. Now your wing, you don't want a long wing on it. About, about half the size of the the abdomen part of the fly. It's a nice little merger wing on there. Now the head, um, Dorsey rec uh, Dorsey's pattern uses a brown super fine or rust super fine. Um, what I like to use, uh, and I've been using, uh, seems to be a equally successful, if not a little bit more. Uh, but that might just be because I fish it tied this way more. But I use a uh, dark brown uh, Stella dubbing. Now, Stealth Dubbing is my own brand of dubbing. It's a uh, synthetic dubbing that I make. It's got in all different colors, loaded in this little box here. But, got lots of different colors. It's uh, nice stuff, you can dub it nice and tight. It's got a little bit of shine and luster to it. We're gonna build ourselves up a nice fat little thorax area on there. We're gonna whip finish right up in front of that. So I like to take now it'll catch fish just fine like that, but once it gets chewed on for a little while, it seems to get a little more effective. Almost like all flies do. Just one thing's for sure. Fish don't care if your fly's neat. Fly fishermen do. Now I like to get that dubbing nice and roughed up. That's your long one there. I rough the dubbing up a little. Gives it a little more uh, lifeness to it. And it just drives the fish nuts. Um, anytime I catch a fish with this pattern, which is often, I thank Pat. Uh, it's a great, great tie. Uh, very simple, but very effective. Great fly. Top seeker midge. Um, of course, uh, bastardized by me, but it's basically the same pattern. But it's a, it's a real producer. Uh, like I said, fish them on dropper rigs, um, dry dropper rigs, um, fish them, grease the leader, fish it right in the film, just right underneath the film, uh, midge and trout, like I said, time small, size 20s and ups, and they will produce big time. If you're interested in getting any dubbing, um, simply contact me uh, via my blog, you can find my email address on there, uh, my blog's www.utah's fly corner dot blogspot dot com. I'm Johnny Utah and thanks for watching.